Hey guys, this is Gadget Mix. In this video, we will be taking a look at Seiko uh, men watch SSC634. This is a chronograph watch with a white dial, and I'll be comparing it to my Seiko uh, series of five watch as well, which I recently bought. So this is a solar watch, and it uh, has stainless steel case with two tone silver tone and uh, say golden tone stainless steel bracelet um it has fixed two tone bezel as well as you can see uh, with the cool uh, black uh, circles which look really good uh, it has white dial with luminous gold tone hands and index are markers which look absolutely fantastic um, it gives it that luxurious look the minute markers are around the outer rim which look absolutely gorgeous if you ask me uh, the case size is 43 mm the case thickness is 12 mm band width is 20 mm it's quite a thick watch if you have thin hands if you are a if you are not a bodybuilder or you don't have strong hands thick hands it won't look good on you but if you have that bulk it will look absolutely smashing um, it has 10 bar water resistant rating um, 100 meters that means or 330 feet um, it features chronograph date gmd second time zone hour minute second all powered by solar so it's powered by light energy no battery change is required which is, which makes sense in these pandemic times you don't have to visit your watch dealer to get the battery replaced uh, like which is the case in quartz watches my two router watches are dead because i can't get the battery replaced and as you can see it looks so good um, um it looks smashing in my opinion the day display is between the four and five o'clock positions um the i've been told that the glass is scratch resistance um it has pull push crown and made in japan as you can see um this is the ssc634 model number uh, all made of stainless steel comes with three year warranty as well the clasp is very well built and it makes use of seco caliber v175 um, which is the eco drive movement everything is made in japan and um, here's a comparison with my series 5 watch it looks a little bit bulkier if you ask me and series 5 is no in, in no way a small watch but looks uh, thicker and heavier as well probably due to maybe solar powered features i don't know maybe it's due to that um, other than that it looks very good on my hand um, I'm a fan of bulky watches and I think they look really nice. I'm also a big fan of fold over clasp which it has. The bandwidth is 22mm which gives it that bulky look. Um, I'm a fan of that. Um, so, you know, if you like you know, thin and light watches, I will be doing thin ceramic Arado watch review as well very soon. And um, yeah. It has solid case back, unlike the transparent case back, which is there in the Seiko 5 series. I wish it had transparent uh, case so that you can look at the inards of the watch. I unfortunately can't do that here. I really like the watches which have transparent back. Anyway, it has three sub dials, which you can see um, 60 second, 60 minute and 24 hour. Um, you can also use the stopwatch functions using the top and uh, bottom buttons as you can see here um, you can also uh, press and hold it to reset the timer overall I, I, I doubt it I'll be using it for stopwatch functions uh, it, it's basically a dress watch I think you go with anything and everything if you are going to wear formal or informal clothes I think it will look good on you the only requirement is you gotta have a thick wrist like mine and i do a lot of bodybuilding and been doing bodybuilding from past seven eight years so i have a thick wrist and that is why 
you know, you, you can see that it looks absolutely good. If you have small hand, it won't look good on you. So you, you might want to go for sort of something that is smaller. So that's all about it. I hope you like this video. Give this video a like if you like that, and let me know what are what are your thoughts on the Seco SSC six three four. And stay subscribe for more gadget reviews and watch reviews like these. More coming your way. Bye bye. Looks good, eh? <laughs> That's my Seco 5. Yeah, nice.